This video is brought to you by Langoni Cues. Hi pool players, welcome back to another episode of Terminator Tips. In this lesson we're going to look at something nice and special, the kick and stick safety. Ooh, oh, don't ever do that again. Let's just go to the pool table. All right, here we go. We're back at the pool table. My leg recovered a little bit, and now it's time to show you this kick and stick safety shot. For this lesson, we're gonna focus on the top spin version, and in a future lesson, I'm gonna do a draw shot version. To make this a bit easier to explain, I'm gonna jump right onto the table and show you an example that I've set up. We're playing a game of nine ball. The cue ball and the one ball are in this position. This is your inning at the table. And there's not really an easy safety shot, but what's much overlooked is that we can kick from behind on the one ball, sending the one ball one or two rails into this zone and leaving the cue ball behind this wall of balls, the 4-6. And in that way, hooking your opponent and taking control of this game right away. Let me first show you what it looks like and then I can explain to you why we have to use topspin. You can clearly see after the cue ball makes contact with the one, it wants to stop and it stays in this vicinity. Now what's actually interesting is that it's counterintuitive because we think the one is over here. I'm really going to get close with the cue ball on the one to show you that normally if you would want to play a stop shot here behind the 4-6, we would have to play stun or even draw to make the cue ball stop like that. So why would we have to play the kick shot with top spin? Well, it's because of this freaky scientific explanation, and I'm no guru at this, and this is something you just have to learn and accept. If we put follow on the cue ball, so the cue ball is doing this, it's following, it's following, it still has topspin on the ball. After it contacts the rail for a certain amount of time, that spin is still going in this direction. But now we're coming from the opposite side of the table. So instead, from here, it's follow, follow, follow. It hits the rail, same spin. But from here now, it reverses and it becomes draw, stop. And therefore, it contacts the one, cue ball does this, kind of stops, and the one is sent away, and therefore the cue ball stays in position. This kind of spin doesn't stay on the cue ball forever, therefore it only works really well when the object ball is fairly close to the cushion. If it's further away from the rail, then the spin kind of dies out and it starts rolling again. So it works great where you're about one to two balls away from the cushion. The further away, we have to hit it slightly harder for that spin to remain on the ball. Here we have a second example of this little touch of magic. We're playing another game of nine ball and your opponent has hooked you on the one. But again, we see the object ball is fairly close to the cushion and I can kick from behind and make the cue ball stop again, send the one ball to this wall of balls and use all these object balls to get a resave and snooker my opponent right back. One thing that's very important on this version of the shot is that now I really have to start using a bit of spin. If I would just kick it without any spin, Cue ball would touch the rail here and hit the one too thin. The one would come over here and the cue ball would take this direction. We want to hit the one ball full in the face and send it this way. So in this case, we have to apply some right spin to make the cue ball arc in this direction. Let's see if I can pull one off for you guys. There you 
you can clearly see that the cue ball breaks. It wants to stay in this area. And you can use these balls as blockers. Very powerful shot, comes up all the time. you're starting to feel more confident with this you can even start pushing out to shots like this for example after the break here in another game of nine ball we're hooked on the one i don't really know what to do tricky position but i can play a little chess with my opponent by just giving a little tap on the cue ball as such and he might say all right play again this time we're coming off the short rail and we're going to hit a little bit of the side of this one ball, send the cue ball this way and stick behind the two five. So this time we don't want to hit it full in the face. Plus, remember from the first shot, we're further away from the rail. So we have to hit it a little bit harder. Use a lot of follow topspin, be high in the cue ball. Very important. We need all that juice and spin to stay on the cue ball. And then it's going to do its job. We're not too much concerned about the one. Our job is to get behind this wall of balls. Let me show you what that looks like. Nice action on the cue ball, getting behind these two balls. Not easy to do. I need a few tries on all these shots myself. But the more you practice it, the more feel you will develop. And you start realizing what the cue ball is doing for you. When you need a little bit of spin to maybe affect the angle, where, which we saw in the previous shot, to bring it to the rail. Very, very strong stuff to put in your arsenal and practice. There you go, pool players, the top spin version of the kick and stick safety shot. Train this and put it in your arsenal. Very strong stuff. You can use this for push outs, for resaves, and really lock up your opponent and take control of the table. Please don't forget to check out all the other great content on this channel, guys. There's tips and lessons here uploaded weekly. And if you're interested in the mental side of the game, remember to head over to terminatorcollege.com and check out all the courses that are waiting there for you. Take care.